welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem without a calculator. So we have 8 to the power of 6 times 5 to the power of 5. Well, we're first going to rewrite 8 to the power of 6 as 8 to the power of 5 plus 1. And multiplying this with 5 to the power of 5 still. Now, if we have an exponent in the form a to the power of n, m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 8 to the power of 5 plus 1, this would be equal to 8 to the power of 5, because 8 in this case is a, and 5 is m, and 1 is n. So times 8 to the power of 1. And we are still multiplying this with 5 to the power of 5. Now we're going to rewrite this as 8 to the power of 5 times 5 to the power of 5 times 8 to the power of 1. And I did this, so now we could rewrite these two as 8 times 5 to the power of 5 times 8. So now we would have 8 times 5 is 40 to the power of 5 times 8. Now 40 is actually equal to 4 times 10, right? So we have 4 times 10 to the power of 5 times 8. Now we're going to distribute the 5 to both terms here. So this would be 4 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 5 times 8. Now, 4 to the power of 5, well, 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. And this is still to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 5. And 8 is the same thing as 2 cubed. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 times 5 which is equal to 2 to the power of 10. So we have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, when we're adding two exponents, let's say a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So when we're multiplying two exponents, we just add the exponents together. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 3. Well, we're simply going to add these two exponents together. 
and 10 plus 3, well, that's 13. So this would equal 2 to the power of 13 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, 2 to the power of 13 is equal to 8,192. And we are still multiplying that with 10 to the power of 5. And if we're multiplying this with 10 to the power of 5, that means we would be adding five zeros to this number. So this would equal 8, 1, 9, 2 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So this here is going to be our answer. Mm -hmm.